Hey guys, welcome to Quant Lab. I'm sure you have talked about or heard about or seen me talk about OpenBB, which is a great platform that has been putting a lot of GitHub stars out starting somewhere around January 2023, where they were quite immature to a point where they are, you know, sitting around a lot of GitHub stars, which is a lot of downloads and a lot of stars as well. This is the GitHub. I think the whole GitHub download is a different page. But the point is this platform, whether you have used or not, is a very interesting starting point if you're looking to put together something of your own in quantitative finance space. But this video is not about OpenBB. I've already talked about that. This video is about Aaron Boma, who has been a contributor into OpenBB. And his efforts uh, are probably one of single-handedly appreciated. He has done probably 250 commits, millions of lines of code, and uh, he has shared it very openly. His area of interest has been microeconomics, econometrics, etc. What I wanted to show is there are two interesting projects that he has worked upon. The first is called a financial database. And what his problems were that as a private investor, the amount of information was very daunting. And this is a very common problem for us. So having a finance database was very, very important for him. And I think it's important for everyone. So what he did is he created some sort of a library package, whatever you want to call it. And here's the GitHub for it. This has been constantly updated. It has 4K stars, very, very active product. And it's a community managed database of 300, whatever, 300,000 plus symbols and tickers across 111 countries and over, you know, 50 exchanges. So equities are tracked over 83 exchanges. You can use this free. Uh, the way you go ahead and install it, just do a pip install finance database. And then you can go about looking for some filters, which is a very, very straightforward. Like if you can filter on United States, look for large cap. So this is a great data provider from a historical data perspective. Just know that most of the data used here would be scraped, open source and things like that. Probably might not be useful for uh, something like, I would say if you're doing live analysis, but for historical analysis and mining, these could be great assets. So there's not much to talk about. It's at the end of the day a financial database, but it is very, very, uh, appreciated word work and uh, what he has done is something very remarkable and uh, you know if you want to sponsor him or if you want to again sh give a shout out to his work this is very great he's looking for contributions and uh, i think if you have the capacity you should be able to contribute to this so this is the first project delighted to see this was mit as well so if you guys are running some firms you can leverage this data as well the second project is called a finance toolkit. And uh, this is also very interesting. For instance, you know, some sort of, a, I'm, I'm gonna open the dashboard and come to it. It basically is an open source toolkit that talks about all the different ratios and indicators. There's like 180 plus indicators and performance measurements that are there. So what he did is he just created some sort of a library, which has, you put an API key, like, this is there and uh, like I believe uh, I, I think he right now he's selling it but this is the way it works uh, you have you put a ratio and you check about it you compare all of them etc and this is also actually a open sourced project which you can leverage it's a very uh, transparent model that he follows uh, and essentially for instance Microsoft price to earning on certain days reported something something uh, and different sort of calculations lead to different uh, results, right? So collecting data from various sources, all of that. So this toolkit will help get all that relevant ratios indicator uh, in a simplistic way. And uh, you are de not dependent on different other toolkits and platform. Again, like the finance database, you can just install it, set up. Uh, you will have to request an some sort of a paid plan yes some sort of a fmp modeling grip probably some sort of a purchase 
you can still get like the basic free tier you can get access to five year historical data 250 calls end of the data if you want to go a little more higher you can just take the uh, probably a starter plan but i would still say that this is a great project if you want to be even in the very least inspired by the project what you can happily do is just fork it extract it and make it your own so you should be able to start from your own own you know whatever setup you have these two products are just great and uh, if i combine with the idea of qlib open bb i see my idea or dream or thought whatever you want to call it of stitching together a platform end to end uh, again leveraging analyzing which is why you see a downtrend in the number of videos i'm able to post but i'm trying to spend more time on research now uh, final concluding thoughts he has more uh, projects like this like the passive investor is there and also some sort of a project which he has built a uh, basis it's like an example which depicts different ETF collected from according to Yahoo Finance and uh, you can run this you can have some analysis which is very very straightforward other projects like personal finance is also very useful uh, he basically has uh, I don't know he seems to be a super finance pro he has very interesting ideas around it he has code like you can manage your personal finance using code which is I don't know if somebody is interested in doing that but I stumbled upon his uh, blog and website and uh, yeah I really liked it I think he, this is this is helping in a big way like you see this is excel is kind of helping categorize some money expenses and i intend to probably play with some of this data in future but uh really really liked uh what he has put the content he has also some courses which i'm gonna explore there's a very good grounded uh, proven person to follow as well as his work can be leveraged for a lot of stuff all right so yeah that was this conversation about just wanted to talk about finance toolkit and finance database if you like the video give me a thumbs up if not tell me what you did not either way please subscribe bye bye thank you for listening